hello everybody hope you guys are doing well uh, this video that i'm making here is especially for students who are giving their mocks and their cies in may june 2023 and this is like a, a full paper for accounting mcqs and this is from february march 2021 uh, these uh, march exams are taken in india and um, a lot of times it's very good for practice. So let's get started with the questions. So question number one, a business employs a bookkeeper and an accountant. Which tasks would the accountant perform? So um, you guys should know the different tasks that are there for bookkeepers and the tasks that accountants perform. So bookkeepers will uh, do the whole, um, uh, start the whole process of, you know, uh, using the business documents to prepare the books of prime entry. Then they'll put everything in the ledger. So they'll put double entries in the ledgers and then from the ledgers they'll extract a trial balance and uh, that's it and then after the trial balance the accountant will make the income statement statement of financial position and then you know compare the prof profitability over years write reports about uh, how profitability has changed how you can control expenses so here if you see a and b is completely for the bookkeeper because general journal is part of the book uh, books of prime entry and uh, ledger accounts say balances in the calculate trial balance me balance dalna that's also uh, the job of the bookkeeper uh, so recording sales and purchases and invoices in the books of prime entry uh, again that's the first step Do documentation is a book of prime entry banana to answer jo hai wo hai hamara c preparing basically preparing a monthly report that analyzes the profitability of the company okay what are assets so if you know the basic definition of assets those are items that are owned by the business those resources which the business owns also the amounts that are owed to the business amounts that are owed by the business are your liabilities so o o ka meaning um, if you would find a dictionary meaning of O, the o, the word O W E uh, means obligation to pay. If there are amounts that other people uh, have obligation to pay to our business, take it to that are our assets like trade receivables. Because when you make cre credit sales, the trade receivable is supposed to pay you in future. Take it to wo jata amounts owed to a business. Take it. And amounts owed by a business is like trade payables, which we pay karne hote in future to um, to people whom whom we have purchased goods on credit. Okay, so answer is ka C. Amounts owed to a business, and uh, that will be yes. Um, uh, items owned by the business, resources that are owned by the business, and items that are owed by a business are your liabilities. Okay, next question. On 15th February, Kalu made the following entries in his accounts. Bank debit 228, discount allowed debit $12, drug bar credit $240. So you're receiving money from this person, the uh, the lady here, drug bar, is giving us some money. And discount allowed is basically uh, when we give a discount to our customers. So that is a cash discount that's given at the time when your customer pays you. So, Drogba hume paise de rahi and hum usko discount de rahi $12. So, iska matlab ye hai ki humara basically trade receivable reduce ho raha hai Drogba is your trade receivable and humare paas paise basically bank mein paise aa rahe and then there is an expense that that is being created that is discount allowed. So, uh, this is like Okay, and discount allowed and discount received both are cash discounts. So, jo trade discount wale options hai, usko to hum bilkul cancel kar denge, theek hai? Jo cash discounts wale option hai, usme hum uh, choose karenge. Usme hum choose karenge option A. Drogba paid Kalu by check after taking a cash discount. So, we are giving, uh, like we are doing accounting for this person. Sahi hai? Iski perspective sam soch rahe hai. Isko paise mil rahe hai aur saath saath ye ek discount de raha hai customer ko, theek hai? Or customer ke account ko credit kar rahe because trade receivable, uh, when, whenever the trade receivable pays you, the trade receivable decreases. Theek hai? Uh, so, your answer will be A. Okay, in the next question, J is a manufacturer. On 1st February, he purchased a machine costing 15,000 from Vinita. He paid 10,000 immediately with uh, with a check from his personal bank account. Here, this is 
ये आपको इन्होंने एक द पर्सनल बैंक अकाउंट दैट मीन्स ही इज़ बेसिकली पुटिंग इन मनी इन द बिजनेस क्योंकि वो बिजनेस के लिए मशीन खरीद रहा है फ्राम हिज पर्सनल बैंक अकाउंट दैट मीन्स इट्स कैपिटल सो द बैलेंस इज टू बी पेड इन जून दैट बिकम्स अ पेबल सो मशीनरी विल बी डेबिटेड बिकॉज अ डेबिट वॉट कम्स इन सो यू विल डेबिट मशीनरी सारे ऑप्शन में मशीनरी डेबिट मशीनरी डेबिट हो रहा है लेकिन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड की मशीनरी आ रही है तो फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड से मशीनरी डेबिट होगी ऑल्सो कैपिटल टेन थाउजेंड से क्रेडिट होगा बिकॉज ही इज़ यूजिंग हिज पर्सनल बैंक अकाउंट एंड पेइंग टेन थाउजेंड फ्राम हिज पर्सनल बैंक अकाउंट विनीता विल बी क्रेडिटेड बिकॉज दैट बिकम्स अ पेबल ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव Jamil's financial year ends on 31st December. On 1st January 2021, he brought down a debit balance on his stationery account. What does this in, uh, represent? What does this balance represent? This is inventory of stationery at 1st January 2021. Also, I will tell you what about stationery. You have uh, stationery may inventory hoti hai. So brought down is always stationery at the start of the year. And then whenever you purchase more stationery and paying by check, so you write here. Uh, the amount that you have paid to buy the stationery here you write the income statement value whatever in whatever stationery you are using during the year that is go that is going to the income statement as an expense jo carried down hoga wo inventory of stationery at the end of the year hoga theek hai uh, end mein hamare paas kitni inventory of stationery bach gayi hai and then this carried down becomes your brought down again so that is it ऐसे ही करते हैं इसको तो इन बेसिकली इन्वेंट्री एट ऑफ स्टेशनरी एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द ईयर इन्वेंट्री ऑफ स्टेशनरी एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर ड्यूरिंग द ईयर यू विल परचेज स्टेशनरी एंड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर ऑल्सो यू विल यूज स्टेशनरी विच विल गो टू द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ईयर दक्षा रिटर्न गुड्स टू अमीना विच एंट्रीज डिड दक्षा मेक इन हर बुक्स सो दक्षा अगर रिटर्न कर रही है तो दक्षा के लिए रिटर्न आउटवर्ड्स है रिटर्न आउटवर्ड्स इज द अदर नेम फॉर परचेज रिटर्न सो परचेज रिटर्न इज ऑलवेज परचेज रिटर्न विल बी क्रेडिटेड बिकॉज सी ऑल्सो लुक लुक एट दिस विद दिस परस्पेक्टिव दैट इन्वेंट्री इज गोइंग आउट ऑफ द बिजनेस परचेज रिटर्न अकाउंट विल बी क्रेडिटेड द ट्रेड पेबल अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड सो हियर यू विल से ओके अमीना विल बी डेबिटेड परचेज रिटर्न अकाउंट विल बी क्रेडिटेड सो यू कैंसल सी एन डी अमीना क्यों डेबिट हो रही है बिकॉज जब हम अपने ट्रेड पेएबल को अपने सप्लायर को गुड्स वापस करते हैं तो हमारा सप्लायर जो है हमारी लाइबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स दैट सप्लायर डिक्रीजेस so that is why you have to debit the liabil- liability account that is the trade payable account and uh, basically whenever you're returning goods after that you'll you'll owe less to the supplier so here you debit basically the answer will be b amina debit uh, that will go in the purchases ledger because amina's account will be in purchases ledger purchases ledger mein sare trade payable ke t account hote hain परचेजेज रिटर्न का अपना अकाउंट जनरल लेजर में होगा जनरल लेजर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड नॉमिनल लेजर सो देर आर फोर सब डिविजन ऑफ द लेजर सो बेसिकली देर इज़ अ सेल्स लेजर इन विच यू हैव ऑल द अकाउंट्स ऑफ ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स देर इज़ अ परचेज लेजर इन विच यू हैव पर्सनल अकाउंट्स ऑफ ट्रेड पेएबल्स देर इज़ अनदर वन इट्स कॉल्ड कैश बुक इन विच यू हैव टी अकाउंट फॉर बैंक एंड कैश सो देर इज लास्ट वन नॉमिनल लेजर या जनरल लेजर उसके अंदर जो टी अकाउंट ना सेल्स लेजर में आ सकते हैं ना परचेज लेजर में आ सकते हैं ना कैश बुक में आ सकते हैं वो टी अकाउंट्स बेसिकली नॉमिनल लेजर में आते हैं ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच विच बुक ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री इज रिटर्न अप फ्रॉम द कॉपीज ऑफ क्रेडिट नोट्स इशूड बाय अ ट्रेडर so credit notes why are credit notes issued so there are two documents which which are uh, kind of related so there is one document that is debit note so uh, there is a buyer and he buys goods from someone and then uh, what he sees is that he does not uh, he thinks that a few of go- a few of them are faulty so what he'll do is he'll issue a debit note to the seller and the debit note will request the seller to reduce the amount of the original invoice theek hai to jab wo basically return outwards karega app purchases returns karega to uske sath wo debit note bhejega apne seller ko so debit note uh, seller ko jo hai wo debit note milega and seller jo hai wo debit note dekhega and wo goods dekhega and wo kahega ki acha theek hai isme se actual mein faulty hain okay if all of them are faulty and uh, then the seller will issue a credit note and the seller will say okay confirmed returns confirmed so that 
becomes purchases returns for the buyer and that is purchases returns for uh, sorry sales returns for the seller in that case the seller will issue a credit note saying that okay we have confirmed your returns so that means credit notes issued kab issue hoga sales returns journal basically you will make up from that because for the seller this thing was sales returns to jitni bhi sales returns aayi hain वो बेसिकली क्रेडिट नोट्स इशूड से यू लुक एट द क्रेडिट नोट्स इशूड एंड यू राइट द सेल्स रिटर्न जर्नल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ट्रांजेक्शन इज रिकॉर्डेड इन द जनरल जर्नल सो जनरल जर्नल इज अ बुक ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री जनरल लेजर इज इज अ लेजर दैट कंसिस ऑफ टी अकाउंट्स ठीक है जनरल जर्नल इज वन ऑफ द बुक्स ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री सो दे आर सेंग कौन सी ट्रांजेक्शन रिकॉर्ड होगी जनरल जर्नल में वी हैव सेवन बुक्स ऑफ प्राइम एंट्री वन इज सेल्स जर्नल द सेकेंड वन इज सेल्स रिटर्न जर्नल द थर्ड वन इज परचेज जर्नल द फोर्थ वन इज परचेज रिटर्न जर्नल सेल्स जर्नल में we record all sales of um, we record credit sales of inventory in the purchases journal we record credit purchases of inventory in the sales returns journal we record all the returns that are coming from our customers credit customers and in the purchases returns journal we record all the goods that we are returning to our suppliers uh and then we have cash book in which we have bank and cash transactions we have a petty cash book in which we have small cash transactions so the seventh one is the general journal so anything that can not come in all of the above goes to the general journal so here drawings in cash can go to the cash book a purchase of a motor vehicle by check will also go to the cash book purchase of goods on credit will go to the purchases journal so the answer will be correction of an error in recording the sales returns okay next question raminder maintains a petty cash book using the impress system the monthly impress is 250 uh which is restored on first day of each month in january the petty cashier spent 105 and received a further 15 dollars from a stationery supplier so that is what he received okay so uske paas already he had 250 in his uh, petty cash and he received 15 so that means he had 265 and from this 265 basically what he spent was 105 so now they are saying in a way technically ab jo um, petty cashier hai uske paas 160 dollars hain already okay because uske paas 265 receipts mein tha aur payments mein 105 tha to ab ye se, ye log keh rahe hain pooch rahe hain aapse how much was given to the petty cashier on 1st february to restore the impressed so if you already had 160 in the uh, in the impressed already so usko restore karne ke liye usko 250 banane ke liye you will have to give Ninety dollars to the petty cashier in order to make it two fifty. That's it. Okay. The next question here: the totals of a trial balance failed to agree. The total of the credit column was ten thousand. Two errors were later found. The error, uh, error number one: the sales journal had been overcast by hundred dollars. जब sales journal overcast है तो इसका मतलब sales account भी overcast है because sales journal का total goes to the sales account on. तो द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ द सेल्स अकाउंट में हंड्रेड ज़्यादा है तो इसका मतलब हमारा ट्रायल बैलेंस बेसिकली क्रेडिट साइड हंड्रेड से हमारी ओवरस्टेटेड है ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज गुड सोल्ड टू सारा ऑन क्रेडिट टू हंड्रेड हैड बीन इन करेक्टली डेबिटेड टू जारा सो दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू अफेक्ट योर ट्रायल बैलेंस दिस इज नॉट एन एरर दैट अफेक्ट्स द ट्रायल बैलेंस दिस इज एन एरर दैट डज नॉट अफेक्ट द ट्रायल बैलेंस इट्स एरर ऑफ कमीशन इन विच द क्लास ऑफ अकाउंट इज इज करेक्ट बट द अकाउंट इट सेल्फ इज रॉन्ग सो दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द ट्रायल बैलेंस बेसिकली सो हमारा जो total of the credit column is 10000 and uh, basically the credit column is uh, is overstated by 100 so what was the total of the debit column the total of the debit column was 9900 because overstatement credit side pe thi aur credit side ka total 10000 tha